Today I'll be showing you how to make these beautiful rose footmarks. They're really easy and I can't wait for you guys to be able to make them. All we need for this project are two rolls of yarn, a crochet hook, any size will do, and a pair of scissors. The first thing we're going to do is take the color for our flower. We're going to chain 16. You'll need a slip knot to start. I'll show you how, but if you still can't quite get it, make sure to check the tutorial on the in the description. We're going to wrap the yarn twice. With this little tail, you're going to stick it up under. Make sure to hold it. Pull your fingers out. Pull. Now you're going to stick your hook in this hole. Pull the string until it tightens. See? Very simple. To chain, we are going to hold this yarn. We're going to yarn over. One is one chain, and we're gonna do that 16 times. Don't worry or be discouraged if it takes you a while to get the hang of it. After you have your 16 chains, we are going to do two single crochet in each one of this first one. The reason we don't do the first one is because it's very difficult to work here uh, without pulling out a little bit. So to do a single crochet, we're going to stick the needle in the stitch, press it, run over. You one more time. Get the stitch, run over, pull through, run over, pull through. If you're still having trouble, make sure to check the tutorial or link in the description. We're going to do that two times in each stitch, so we will have a total of 30 stitches. So you should have this sort of like coiled up, curly piece of fabric now. Um, we are going to chain three, and we are going to do a double crochet in the final chain down here. So how to do a double crochet, you yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Now we're going to do two double crochet and all of the rest of the stitches, so yarn over, under, Two, yarn over, pull through two. We're going to do that twice in each stitch. If you still can't get it, be sure to check the tutorial. I don't think it's a kick. Now we should have this curled up spring. What we're going to do is. Push it through all the layers, all the way through, and pull. Okay, now we're going to add a needle right here. We're going to push it through all the layers again. I'm going to do the same with this string.
now we've completed our rest. So we're going to make our leaf and stem, which will be the main part of the flower. We're going to take your second color and form the knot. We're going to start by making a leaf. To do that, we're going to chain nine. Now we have this, we're going to create the leaf. It may seem tricky at first, but it goes really easily. So in the second chain from the hook, we're going to single crochet. In the next one, we're going to do a half double crochet. To do a half double crochet, we yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through all three. If you weren't able to get that, be sure to check the tutorial I link in the description. Now we're going to do a double crochet in the next stitch. Two double crochet in the next stitch. One double crochet in the next stitch. One half double crochet in the next stitch. And a single crochet in the next stitch. In this final stitch, we are going to do a slip knot, which is as simple as inserting, going over, and pulling through. Now we're going to turn this upside down. We're going to repeat that backwards. So right here, we're going to do single crochet, double crochet, double crochet, two double crochet, double crochet. Now that we've chained 35, we're going to leave a long string, cut, and pull through to create a knot. We're going to take our needle, and we're going to stick it through one of these bottom stitches right here. We're just going to whip stitch a few times. Have created your own. 